Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, MC Official Games here, and I welcome you guys to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Part 35. Today, we're finally gonna explore the new three islands that we unlock in the post game. But before I do that, we unlock something down here that's also quite important. So, I'm gonna go ahead and come this way. Yeah, I remember. There's always a Pokeball there. I don't know why I remember, like, random Pokeballs that you find, like, throughout the world. I don't know why. But, yeah. Uh, let me go on my bag real quick. We're probably gonna have to fight a couple of people on our way there, but, like, I don't mind. Uh, where is it? Damn, I only got... No, I got Max Repels. I should have Max Repels. Unless I'm confused. Okay, I do. I got 46. That's good. Since we're going on the water, we gotta send out the boy. That's not what I meant to do, but I mean, it's cool that you're walking with me. I don't really care. Okay, time for us to go to this place. Yes, Raichu. That's so cool that you're looking at your surroundings, my friend. But we do not care. <laughs> we do not care. We gotta go to this part of the game because this is the part that Professor Oak told us about. And look at that first fight of today. It's a double battle. This should be interesting. But yeah, I'm going to this part of the game because we have to go there to uh, trigger the dialogue. And also because I, I was looking, uh, and this is also a part of the post game, like after you get the National Pokedex, you're supposed to come down there and you're supposed to go talk to him. And apparently they added something else in this remake and they said you could get like a bunch of legendaries if you go over there. So we're gonna, I may just go out and check it out. I, I out of this, yeah. That part that we're going to was a part of the original, but they didn't have like a way for you to hunt like legendaries and stuff. I'm still gonna hit it with a hydro pump. Like, what's it gonna do? It's not like it's gonna survive it, even if. Unless he got that dry thing that heals it when you attack the water, it's not gonna survive this attack. At least I don't think it is, but. Yeah. I knew it. I mean, I, I kind of figured. Water pulse is crazy. That's gonna do like, what, 3 damage? Oh, it did more, it did more. My bad. Like 10. 10 damage. Another Mara. Well, I got Metron. Oh, I'll go ahead and do that again. Oh wow, it's super effective on both. Actually, I don't even think I need to use Thunderbolt to get rid of them. What about Ice Beam? It might not be very effective, but it should kill it. I just want to get it out of my way, if I'm being completely honest. I think it's Evolution is the thing that's like Water Ground or something. Maybe not that one. Like, I guess it's a cool move. It's cool to have that Pokemon because it's like it gets boost when you hit it with water. And only a dumbass like me would hit a water Pokemon with a water move because I wanted to overpower it with the level difference. Okay, now we're gonna test it. Now we're totally gonna test it. Only one Pokemon over there, my boy. Just hit it with another ice cream. Let's see who attacks first. Alright, it's gone. It's cool. They have two marrows, two shallows. I mean, it's kind of repetitive, but I mean, what, 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 what could you expect from level 29 trainers? I think they probably wanted me to explore this region before I did, but like, I don't know. I feel like I always do this towards the end. I kind of did mess up on the last part uh, of this series when we went to get the Rulu egg. I feel like we could have done that way before and it would have been fine. I'm not gonna fight the whole world, I just wanna go here and trigger this dialogue. I don't know why Raichu keeps getting in my way, bro. Yeah, I'm not. At least I'm gonna try not to fight the whole world, but hey, if they wanna throw hands, they could throw hands, my boy. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Are you sure I'm just supposed to keep going that way? I'm not mistaken. It doesn't turn sideways, does it? I doubt it, yeah. Okay, these are like mandatory fights. Oh wow, she turned her head. Alright, I guess it's not a double fight. I'll just keep going. I mean, I'm not gonna fight half the world just to go see Oak say a couple of words. Oh wow, I got those. I bet you're like what level 30, <laughs> maybe 31. Like I'm not, I'm not really scared, my boy. And I don't think my level 62 right who cares that you intimidated it. Ah, that was close. I said 31. It should be that. I'm like, what, 31 levels ahead, maybe? Is this what it feels like to be overpowered? 
I mean, Cynthia still beat my ass a couple times, so I should be humble. I'm be great. Thank you for the 744, you broke boy. Uh, let's keep going. But yeah, we're almost there. I remember this. Then we go to the patch of grass, and the thing should be right on the corner. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, like, I usually consider this to be, like, endgame stuff. So, I, well, I guess they expected me to go to this part of the game after I got, like, my fourth badge or maybe fifth badge. Like, it wouldn't make sense for me to come back here at any time. I, I don't have any reason to come back home. I mean, I guess after you do the Team Galactic thing, you could kind of uh, go back and try to catch the like late legendary Pokemon but I, I don't know I consider like catching legendaries low-key type of like post game at least in my opinion I like catching like all the legendaries like post game stuff oh yeah this is yeah this is the one <laughs> this is the one that's type ground I should have switched out I wasn't paying attention on what he was gonna send out but yeah anyways we're doing pretty good though we're chilling Wow, so much damage. That was scary. You know what a psychic Jirachi. Yo, Jirachi's such a goal, bro. The best Pokemon in my team without a doubt. Especially after what that man did to the Elite Four, bro. Damn. Always surviving, always doing a critical hit just to make me happy. Like, Jirachi is the best Pokemon I'm gonna wish for. And I'm gonna keep going. Let's pick up this item because, like, anytime I see an item, I have to pick it up. Like, why wouldn't I? But yeah, I say I love this. We're gonna fly, uh, and we're gonna go on that boat, and we're gonna go do what we should have done <laughs> a long ass time ago. But I keep doing everything else, but go there. Also, at one point, I will rebattle the eight gym leaders because I think it's cool that they added that, and I kind of want to like see what they have. You're going to Ramana's Park. It's not right that you get to go before a collector like me. Why he hating? <laughs> like, why you hating, my boy? It's not my fault you're garbage. Like, why do you gotta hate on me? Man, I think dying, bro. You about to collect an L, my boy. That's what you find to collect. That way you send in this out in front of me. Like, other people might be like, Oh, but you just send out an electric type. An electric type could die. And I'm gonna just look at you. As I use Surf. Shout out Raichu for learning Surf for some reason. I don't know the reasoning behind why they let uh, Raichu know Surf. But it works. I can't really complain about a move that benefits me. But yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do like 3 damage. Do you have another one? Yes. Go ahead and send him out. I mean, collectors usually do have the same time of Pokemon. Even fishermen are like more original. They might have like six Magikarps and at least one Gyarados. Some have like the gold. Forgot the name. Y'all know the goldfish. And yeah, they have like a bunch of other stuff. But like Pokemon collectors usually just have the same thing. Why wow, are you gonna send out another Hippopotamus? Oh wow. He got three of the same one. Is that the last one? It's a 3 for 3 or does he have 4? Okay, that is the last one. Okay. Because you never know. They might have 6 of the same Pokemon for no reason. So it's like, you know, you got to be prepared. At some point. You got to be prepared. Oh so yeah, we took it out. Shout out Raichu. What are you going to say? You're one enthusiastic trainer. Thank you for the 2,448, you broke boy. Alright, now we keep pushing. We got to where we're supposed to go. I love it here. Oh, I literally came here just to hear him speak. Ah, MC, this is Ramana's Park. This place has a special connection with regions around the world such as Kanto and Hoenn. It's also connected to the ground underground. Exploring down there might reveal treasures. New discoveries lead to interesting encounters. Remember that. It's good to see you come to join us for a visit. Let me make a gift of this chain counter for your pocket bit. I don't know what the chain counter app is. I never heard of it. Pocket router performance. Okay, I plan to be for some time. Being I should make the best of my time selling the pocket when I'm seeing a region. Oh wow, so he does stay. What's, what about you? I came all the way, but this place has a weird. I feel like I could lose my sense of time and space. What is that sign? 
Uh, let me talk. Okay, so they sell things. Obviously, that's cool. It's cool that y'all sell things. What about you? Mystery. Sh Do I have any? Yeah, I don't. I don't have shards. But that's what you used to summon le legendaries. So I gotta find like a bunch of those shards. Get Reggie Ice, Reggie Gears, and Reggie Steel, and then fly to the Ice Temple, and I gotta catch Reggie Gigas. But I can't do that at the moment. At least not now. I do kind of want to see. I kind of do want to go in here and like see what they have. This is where you summon the legendary Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. These are the Reggies for sure, for sure, for sure. It's a cutscene. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't have anything. But yeah, once I get, I, I'll I'll show you guys how we're gonna do that. But no, now, no, now, no, now. But yeah, there's a bunch of like le different legendaries that you could catch here. Like this is Jotto, so I'm guessing this is the legendary birds. Articuno, Sapdos, bro, that that's cool that they added this to a post to the post game on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I'm not gonna lie. We also gotta catch. Wow, there's a lot of rooms, bro. We're, there's a lot of legendaries that we could catch. Rainbow room, interesting. Is that supposed to be the Oxus? I I don't know who else would be the Rainbow Pokemon. But yeah, we gotta <laughs> we gotta collect a lot of those. Wow, this room looks. Interesting. So I just kind of want to go in like all the rooms, low key. Wait, no, that might be, that might be, that might be. If there's one next to him and it's in the water, that might be Growlon. That might be Growlon, and this might be Kior. If it's like, I'm just seeing this. This is so cool that they added this. Yeah, I know what legendary this is. Bro, the man Bro, there's that. Bro, I'm gonna have so much fun trying to catch these legendaries. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun trying to catch these legendaries. It's so cool that they added them. And like each room has like a different am ambience to it, you know? But like the only legendaries that I could catch in the game at the moment without like uh, going to get the shards are Giratina and Hero Tram. Right? That's how it's called. The one in Stark Mountain. But other than that, they added a ton of legendaries. I'm like kind of surprised that they did this. I mean, like I know that in Sword and Shield, uh, with the DLC, they added a way for you to like go in like a certain like battle system and like find a bunch of like a bunch of like uh, legendaries. But it's kind of cool that they added this to to the remake of Brilliant Diamond. They basically said here. Go, go, go catch the legendaries again. Wait. Oh no, this might be Groudon's room. The other one, the Rainbow Room, might be something completely different. But yeah, there's probably a bunch of more rooms where I'm catching this legendary Pokemon. I'll come back. I don't have any shards right now, so I'm gonna have to go get it. But there's a method that I saw where you could get like a lot of them. But we're not gonna do any of that at the moment. I just came in here to trigger the event. Can I fly out of here or do I have to go out the way I came from? Let me see. Oak's word echo. Yeah, I knew it. Even though we're out in the open. What's up with you? Even though I, I, I'm one of those people, you know, we out in the open. They're like, nah, you can't fly out there, bro. You're, you're inside of a building. I, I think they should let me fly. But yeah, I'm glad that they added all those legendary Pokemon, if I'm being honest. It's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and get on this trip. I'm finally unlocked this. I don't know why I sidetracked for so long. I mean, like, there's a lot to explore. They added a lot of post-game stuff, and it's just like, uh, you gotta decide, like, what you wanna do first, and etc. I wanna... I wanna walk with him. And I guess they don't let me walk with him on the snow for some odd reason. Alright, bro. Let's go out of here. What is this? Do you want to sell? Yes. Can we go to the bottle soon? 
even though I the battle zone is one of those places that I really don't care about the only reason I'm going here is to go to the resort area and go to the Stark Mountain and catch that legendary that's the only reason I don't want to come here oh, yeah, we gotta have a fight what took you so long? I'm finding you 1 million. Listen up. I'm going to become the greatest. That's why I'm here to toughen up myself and my Pokemon. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. But the greatest trainer ever. That's going to be really tough because you're talking about me. To prove that I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You don't really don't know anything, do you? I'll tell you. This is the battle phone and as far as it ends, it's a volcano. Deep inside the volcano. Yeah, the legendary Pokemon. So if I find the treasure first, I'll make me the greenest thing. Then what I'll do. But before that, I'm going to the Battle Tower CEO. Good for him. That I just can't say. Anyways, howdy. I'm Buck. And if that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another. So do you know about the... You should chase after that guy. I tell him not to underestimate. Oh, but you know what? You better shape up in the battle. I don't like chances of getting... Let's see. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm actually not gonna go to that battle tower because I really don't care. I personally don't care. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna make me trigger an event or something. I'm. I'll see. I'll see. We'll see. First, I want to go up and then go around. Cause I mean, I could go to like the resort directly. I think I'm not sure, but we'll see. I just know that if you have the national pocketix, that's the key that allows you to go to like the different parts. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and see. Oh yeah, now that I can walk, bro. Switch them out, bro. I need to walk together with my starter, bro. We made it to the end. My starter gotta be outside with me, bro. See, they can't get in my way, bro. Cause I got the national pocketix, my boy. God damn! I gotta fight the world, bro. That's wild. But yeah, we finally... Wow, we're rare candy. That's cool, I guess. Hold on. Let me look at the map. So yeah, our goal is to reach the survival area. The legendary Pokemon we're looking for is on the Stark area. And then we have the resort area, which is a place where you basically get a big-ass mansion. But yeah. Other than that, you I like the the, the the battle area because there's a house where you could rebattle. I mean, it, they make they kind of let you rebattle all the gem leaders, but I think that's like only once. But in this place, you could like always go to like train and level up your Pokemon by battling in the in that area. If I'm not mistaken, I'm too lazy to switch out. I like how I had the perfect Pokemon, but because I just wanted to switch out. I mean, it is what it is. It's a slow poke. It's not like I'm fighting a legendary level 70 Giratina. Foreshadowing of what might happen in the next part. Or the part after that. Why is it still alive? <laughs> like, why are you still alive, slow poke? Like, I know I don't have a perfect move to beat you. And I don't want to switch because I just really don't care that much. But, like, come on, bro. Like, why are you dragging it, bro? Just leave. Thank you. Have a nice day. Like, I know I'm just booting your stats, bro, but, like, relax. Relax. It's not that deep. Yes, I'm switching. <laughs> I'm definitely switching. Like, why would I not switch after what just happened? But, yeah. I think by the time we get to Stark Mountain, my Pokemon are going to be, like, level 70-ish. Or close to level 70 at least, maybe. We'll see. I don't want to... Rush the game. I've been having a lot of fun and I've been taking my time playing the game, so... I really don't want to rush it. But yeah. Gold coin is like so OP, low-key. We got 3,000 for winning. And the only reason I went this way instead of fighting the other one... Is because... Uh, there's a shortcut. <laughs> That's literally the only reason I went here. Because there's a shortcut. And with this shortcut, we could get to where we're going a lot faster. God damn it. I went the wrong way. Our goal is... We, we, I guess we still gotta go up the super bridge. I didn't think of that. Do I not have a super repel active? 
Oh yeah, this is why you need the National Pokedex, by the way. Because if you don't have the National Pokedex, you can't register this rare Pokemon that pop up in the wild like that, so. And they're also all kinds of levels. They're not like all high leveled. I mean, there's certain areas in the wild around here that do have like high level wild Pokemon, but for the most part, it's not that hard. Man, they're really making me take the long way out. Bro, that's so messed up, bro. Look at where they're making me go. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You got the move like that. Imagine if them seeing your Pokemon trigger the fight. That'd be hilarious. Oh, he looked dead at me. There's something missing the way I battle. I come to find it. Yeah, but I'm skipping a lot of the fights for... <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't know. Usually when I fight everybody, the video turns out to be like 30 minutes or something. So I'm just trying to like unlock these two areas as fast as possible, I guess. But at the same time, I'm just having fun. Maybe off screen I'll fight everybody, but for now, we're just chilling. Getting a couple Pokédex entries. And yeah, the purpose of this video is just to explore like this new area that I unlock. And on the next part, I might go into the Stark Mountain and try to catch myself that legendary Pokemon that's in there. Oh, yeah, there's a lot to do in the post game, like, especially uh, on this remake, they did out a lot. Like, I'm telling you, the legendary hunting is crazy. That underground, in my opinion, is one of the best things that they added. It's pretty cool. And yeah. But the Chibi. <laughs> Let me not complain about the thing that I've been complaining since part one. <laughs> it's still an enjoyable game, I don't know. This is like my favorite region. It's probably almost my favorite Pokemon game, so... It makes sense for me to like this. But yeah. Ah. He had that Pokemon that that gym leader... ...in, uh... ...home has. I don't even need to heal. I'm pretty sure the house is free. To Bro, ain't no way. Did I go the wrong way? Are you kidding me right now? No way I went the wrong way. It's that way over there. Bro. I went the wrong way. Oh, this has to connect somehow. And yeah, just out of curiosity, I have to go in this house. Because this house has to be here for some reason. Also, wow, how did I miss this? I'm like an item hungry person. Relaxing, it doesn't matter. I like how my Pokemon is teleporting all over the place. Like, bro, relax. It's not that deep. Are you traveling here? Have okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's why you go into random houses because they're giving you free water. They're like, bro, you thirsty, bro? You climbing this mountain? Here's some water, some good H2O. Huh? How now, wait, how did he not see me? I'm so confused. I thought that it was a trainer that I could talk to because I literally walk right in front of him and he didn't say anything to me. Oh well, I guess it turns out <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's a trainer I gotta fight. And it's like every trainer in this area is like an ace trainer, bro. I guess like if you do beat the Elite Four and you come here, I guess you're an ace trainer. But to me, you're just nothing. I just hydro pump your team away. Like a fade away. Cut, cut. Out of here. Pencer's a cool Pokemon. I like Pencer. Pencer's cool. Let's go. Alum is finally level 59. He's finally getting with the program. Why would I switch? Uh, on Emerald, this is a Pokemon that I usually like having in my team. I'm not gonna lie. Usually, my starter to go to is like Trico, and then I like catching this one. But I feel like all the starters in Gen 1, 2, and 3 are like perfect. It doesn't matter what you pick. Some might argue that on Gen 2, like, if you pick Chikorita, you're picking wrong. Because Totodile and Cyndaquil are, like, top tier. But I think all three of them are pretty good, choice-wise. Same thing for Gen 3. Like, all the choices in Gen 3, you really can't go wrong with any of the choices there. Like, Trico, Mudkip, Torchic, they're all fire choices. I think that's, like, the Gen that, like, every time I play, I don't regret any choice I make on my starter. And on this gen, personally, like I always said, I usually always liked picking uh, Infernape. I mean, Chemchar. 
But this is like Inferno is like one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. So I always like picking picking Chimchar. But Piplop isn't too bad and Torchwick isn't too bad either. I mean all three choices are pretty good. I think the last gen that had starters that everybody liked, I think was black and white. And even that, like it was controversial at the beginning, but it had some cool starters. Like all three of their final evolutions were pretty cool. If I'm being honest. But yeah, I think yeah, I think Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 had the best starters. In my humble opinion. Like even for Sword and Shield, the starters were like meh. But yeah. It's always cool though when you see a new Pokemon game and they give you like the choices for the starters. That they show you like all the starters and you're like, oh, this is the one I want to go. I mean, some people do pick their starter based on like what typing it has. But I think majority of people like pick it depending on like what's it going to evolve to type thing. You know what I mean? This is the house where you fight all those trainers. Like all the cool trainers, by the way. Oh, wait. It's not this one? God damn it. I think it might be the one next to the... I might... Is my memory failing me, bro? I could have sworn that there was a house. I think these people might fight me. Am I tripping? Bro, I swear to you, there is a house here. That in that house. It's not that one. Why is it not that one? I'm actually like shocked. If my memory serves me right, the house that has like the gym leaders and people that you fight is the house next to this Pokemon Center. Am I tripping? I bro, I swear there's a house in here that you like go in and you like fight. Bro, did they take it out? Is there no other houses in this area? I think they might have taken it out. Yeah, it's like this is the I think they took it out. Yeah, I think they took it out. Cause I didn't miss any house here. Yeah, they might have taken it out. Or maybe I'm not at the place. I don't know. I, I could have sworn it was there. Could have sworn it was that place. God damn, bro. Chill. My partner and I have come this far. Let's show you how much stronger we gotten. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get to the resort area as fast as I can through this way. Ooh. That's a Pokemon I like using too on Gen 3. He's cool. But you're dead. Like, I'm pretty sure you're weak against this. Never mind, I was wrong. I could have sworn that it was weak against one of those moves. Brave Bird is cool. It's a Raptor using Brave Bird. Top, top tier move. Top tier move. Let me go ahead and just use Surf. I know it's a Steel type, so I'm flying. I think still flying. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it might be still flying. Let's go. Level 67. Yeah, Pain one gonna be the first person to hit level level 70. 100 percent My starter is pretty strong, but all my all my team is equal level. Bro, did y'all see that? It glitched. He like got stacked between Ain't no way, bro. I gotta go down, bruh. Ain't no way, bruh. Like I said, I'm item hungry, so you know your boy going down here to get this item. Whatever it might be, bro, I have to get it. I'm just curious. Every time I see a Pokeball in the wild, I get curious. But yeah, I'm gonna get to the top of this mountain. I don't think we're close at all to where we're supposed to be. I mean, like, we're close to Stark Mountain, but we're not close to uh the resort area at all like at all let me do this battle right here in the arms of mother nature they're tough how do you do on my dragon what do we say 
So yeah, after this battle, I think I'm gonna end part 35, and on the next part, we'll keep exploring this uh, region, get to the resort area, and see if we could go to the Stark Mountain. How are you a dragon type trainer? Actually, no, that is dragon. That is water dragon. I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. I apologize for that error. Pretty sure, yeah, that, that is a dragon type. That's a water dragon, if I'm not mistaken, though. So I'm going to go ahead and use Thunderbolt on that. It should be water dragon. Yeah. That's also a cool Pokemon. I don't think I ever had a Seedra in my team. But I, I like it. That part's better though, but I, <laughs> I like that. Imagine having a gold bot, bro. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me with a gold bot. If I'm being honest. Yeah, this is a cool bird psychic. Actually, not yet. We're chilling. I know an ice beam could take out the bird, and a thunderbolt could take out Garados, a hundred percent. That Intimidate is crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and use on that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use Thunderbolt on Gyarados. Thunderbolt should take out Gyarados. I don't know if Ice Beam is gonna be strong enough to take out Satu, but we shall see. We shall see what happens. For we are the chosen people. Hey, level 62. Hey. Air Slash. Should I? I mean, he already knows kind of, He already knows fly. Like, yeah, I'm assuming I'm not gonna forget. I'm not gonna forget nothing. Like air lash is a cool move, but like I already have fly and fly. That's like 90. Okay, ice beam was strong enough to end it. I like that. Let's go. Do they have any more Pokemon left? I don't think so. I think that was the last one. I might be wrong though. No. You don't need to learn rest. You do not need to learn rest. How could you be tougher than Mother Nature? <laughs> oh, how very silly of me. That man had two water dragon types. Like, why would you do that? I mean, is Gyarados considered a dragon type? I mean, I guess it, 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 it looked like a dragon. Damn, I went the wrong way. Yeah, we're really close to, to the resort area. So, I think I'm going to end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Part 35. I'll see you guys in the next part. It's been your boy. Peace.